Welcome to A Journey Into Christmas, a reflective journey with Kidderminster East Parish. Hello everybody and welcome to the next part of our journey as we travel together on to Christmas, as we travel on to Bethlehem, as we worship Jesus together. Thank you for being with us so far and we pray that you'll continue to be with us in the days that lie ahead as we celebrate the true meaning of Christmas that unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given and his name is Christ the Lord. Our Bible reading for this session is from the Gospel according to St John. John's Gospel chapter 1 and beginning to read at the first verse. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of man. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. There was a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of a human decision, or of a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. I wonder if you were asked the question, how do you sum up the Christmas message in one short line? How would you answer it? Let me say that I think you could do worse than reflect on one of the lines from tonight's Christmas Carol. He came down to earth from heaven. Quite often people think that getting right with God and having a relationship with God involves our reaching up to God in our own strength in order to meet him. It's rather like climbing a stepladder to heaven where we have to do the climbing. But of course nothing could be further from the truth. If the Christmas message teaches us anything it is that God takes the initiative. God in Christ came down and dwelt among us. And so if you find faith too difficult, too boring, too out of touch with your everyday life, then perhaps you need to take on board the good news of the Christian faith that it is God who comes to earth from heaven. He climbs down to be with us and to draw us up into the love of God. Christmas Eve by Walter Berfield. Each Christmas Eve I still make the same journey out into the backyard, looking up to see, swerving through the stars, the sleigh, the reindeer, jolly old Saint Nick. Then invariably disappointed again, I look down from heaven to earth. I see the manger, the parents, the child, 
and I discover afresh that the real gift of Christmas has long since reached eye level. Let's come before God in prayer. Let us pray. O Lord, in a world where worry and not peace prevails, stir up your good news again. This Christmas, make your story real in our hearts. Never have we needed your joy and peace, your forgiveness more than now. Thank you for the gift of Jesus, our Emmanuel, the Word made flesh. Forgive us for forgetting that your love never changes, never fades, never dies, and that you never abandon the purposes for which you came, to save us from our sinful condition and to give us eternal life. Give us the joy of relationships with you, our holy God. Thank you that your birth and your death 
sealed your promise to us forever. Amen.